It's the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to draw 72 different kinds of eyes and here they all are on a sheet that you can download from my website www.shoerainer.com slash eyes and uh, let's not talk about it anymore. Let's do it! The first cavemen drew really simple heads on the walls of their caves. Now, if you're lucky you might find one where a dot has been put in the middle of the circle for the eyeball. It doesn't take a giant leap to draw two circles with dots in the middle, but we'll come back to that design later. The ancient Egyptians drew fabulous eyes, and this is the all-seeing eye of Horus, which you will see on wall inscriptions in tombs of the pharaohs. It has a lovely loop and a strange handle thing, which it might be a tear. Here's a simple eye that follows on historically, and have you ever seen the back of a dollar bill? <laughs> well, there's a similar eye on there, with an Egyptian pyramid too. That's weird. Talking of money, this is the classic money bags eye from the cartoons. Actually, you can make eyes out of almost anything, because the human brain likes to turn circular objects into eye shapes, even buttons. Put two buttons together and draw a teddy head around the outside and voila! The brain likes to make faces out of shapes. I saw this on a fence post. There were two traffic reflectors which looked like eyes. And you could take this idea on into really simple characters. Even elevator buttons can look like eyes. The basic eye has a black circle in the middle for the pupil and a little bit taken out of it for the reflection. Add a bit of shading around it and you can put almost any animal head around it. Teddy bear or fish. Those same pupils can be drawn as chunky letter C's. It works on most eyeballs, making them look shiny, even on slimy slugs and snails. Blech. Let a gentle S curve hide most of the pupil. Add a few feathers and we have a bird of prey. Now what on earth is this? It's one of those weird protruding chameleon eyes. The frogs have bulging eyes too, with pupils that look well just like Kermit the Frog. There must be a reason for that. Snakes have strange slit eyes too. I love to look and see how the ancients drew things. They would refine their drawings over generations to the point of perfection. This ancient beast has such simple eyes but it's full of fierce expression too. It's well worth looking at old Greek pots. The artists refined their ways of drawing things until they didn't have to think about them anymore. These ancient designs are so simple but so elegant, getting more and more simple to the point where we arrive at the Greek evil eye, a symbol you will still see all over modern Greece. Now let's have a look at how the eyeball is put together from a side view. The iris and the pupil are on the front of the eyeball. Draw a curve over the top of the pupil and another that rests on the bottom of the pupil. Then you just need to add a couple of lines to suggest the shape of the eyeball under the eyelids. Now here's one I did earlier. <laughs> Click to see my how to draw a scary eyeball video. This eye comes from very old stained glass window. It's so simple but so effective. Have you got something in your eye? Pull down the eyelid and you really can see the spherical form of the eyeball. Now let's draw a few more realistic eyes. You can go and see these two tutorial videos I did earlier. One is in pencil and one is in ink. This is a very simple but realistic looking eye. It's quite graphic but not as graphic as fashion eyes which tend to be more slanted and cat-like. The second eye looks like the mascara and the eyeshadow have fused. And these are the eyes of the Powerpuff Girls. They are huge and they lead us on to manga eyes. Manga is a Japanese art form and you always have to remember that. Manga developed in isolation from Western art and so it can look strange to Western sensibilities, especially when the eye is almost obliterated with reflection, highlight spots. The pattern of these are almost like the artist's signature. I love this one, which is almost 
like looking out of an aeroplane window. Like they say, the eyes are the windows of the soul. Actually, any two blobs can become eyes, even two old bits of coal. Just add a carrot and you have a snowman. Now, drawing eyes from the side is difficult. And again, it's good to go to the ancient artists to see how they did it. Each culture found its own way of representing faces and eyes. But you need to imagine the eyeball from sideways on with the pupil stuck on the front, and the eyelids and the rest of the features, and then it begins to make sense. The medieval stained glass painters got it down to a couple of brush strokes, easy and elegant. Now let's go back to those two circles with the dots in the middle. If we draw another pair alongside, and place the dots to the side of the circles, we instantly have a connection between the two characters, for characters is what we have. Draw them again differently, and the relationship changes. If you want to draw characters communicating with each other, this is the easiest way to do it, much easier than just drawing two dots, but many children's books work at that simple level. Now let's go through a range of emotions. The shape of the eyes and the eyebrows all add up to make a language of emotion that's easy to read, but it does take practice to learn how to draw them. Here are some more simple eye designs, all of them very graphic and good for comic books. Now young children's eyes are quite wide apart and the nose and mouth quite high in the face. Move the eyes closer together and lengthen the face and you get an older character. Add a few crinkly lines and he gets older still. These two faces are from Japanese prints, drawn with an expert flick of ink on a brush. And finally, a few more eyes from the side, getting simpler and simpler and simpler. Now, if you're having trouble seeing all of this, go and watch this tutorial on how to draw a pair of spectacles. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, go and see how to draw 51 noses from the side. Make sure you're subscribed and check out my other channels. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now.